The Curse of the Crying Boy The Curse of the Crying Boy appeared out of the blue one morning in 1985. The Sun, at that time the most popular tabloid newspaper, published on 4th of September edition, a story headlined, Blazing Curse of the Crying Boy. It told of a couple who blamed a cheap painting of a child with big tears on his cheek for a fire that destroyed their house in Rotherham, South Yorkshire. Although the downstairs rooms of the house were badly damaged, the framed print of the crying boy escaped unburned. It continued to hang there, undamaged, surrounded by a scene of devastation. The head of the Yorkshire Fire Brigade told the national newspapers that pictures of the crying boy were frequently found intact in the rubble of houses that had been mysteriously burnt to the ground. One fire station officer Alan Wilkinson had logged more than 50 crying boy fires. Many readers told their stories through the paper, and various other papers around the country. The story was always the same, soon after the picture found its way into a home, a fire broke out, destroying everything except the picture itself. The paper added that an estimated 50,000 crying boy prints, had been sold in branches of British department stores, particularly in the working class areas of Northern England. 9th of September 1985, Brian Parks destroyed the painting of the crying boy after a fire hospitalized his wife and two children and left them homeless. The painting was undamaged on the blackened wall of his living room. On the same date, Grace Murray was hospitalized with severe burns after a house fire, but her painting was almost undamaged. 21st of October 1985, the Parillo Pizza Palace, Great Yarmouth was destroyed by fire, but the painting was undamaged. 24th of October 1985, Kevin Godber's family Herringthorpe, South York's were made homeless by a fire which left the painting unscathed, while pictures on either side of it were destroyed. 25th of October 1985, an explosion destroys the Amos's home in Merseyside. Two paintings living room and dining room were retrieved unharmed. Mr. Amos destroyed the jinxed paintings. 26th of October 1985, George Beer a restaurant owner installed two paintings, the premises were severely damaged by separate fires. There were a dozen other fire incidents and the undamaged painting was common in all the incidents. One well-respected researcher into occult matters, a retired schoolmaster named George Mallory, claimed that to have uncovered the truth in 1995. Mr. Mallory claimed he tracked down the artist behind the controversial portrait. An old Spanish postcard artist named Franquet Seville, who lives in Madrid. Seville met a young boy named Don Bonello, a mute orphan who had seen his parents perish in a house fire. He soon adopted the boy, although he was warned off of doing so by a local priest, the boy being the center of many mysterious fires that broke out wherever he went. The boy was known locally as the Diablo. Seville ignored the superstitious priest and looked after the boy. The paintings of the little boy made Seville fairly rich, but one day, his house and studio was mysteriously burned to the ground. Seville was ruined, and he accused the little Don Bonillo of arson. The boy ran off crying, and was never seen again. It gets more stranger. A few years later, on the outskirts of Barcelona a car exploded after crashing into a wall. The victim was killed and badly burned. He was beyond recognition, but part of the victim's photo and driving license in the glove compartment was only partly burned. The name on the license was one 19-year-old Don Bonillo. Could this have been the same Don Bonillo who had been the subject of the crying boy painting eight years earlier? We will probably never know, as no friends or relations ever came forward for the body. Listen.